Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just stumbling upon this video. My name is Madeline. So in this vlog, I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a medical sales rep. So normally I do like weekend vlogs, but I thought it'd be fun to mix it up a little bit and take you guys along. I've gotten some questions on how I got into medical sales, what my day consists of, and honestly every day is different, but today I'm, he I'm heading to San Antonio. It's part of my territory, so I actually cover six states total, um, but I've only been at my job for about eight months now so I'm kind of like slowly expanding out like where I'm going and where I'm traveling to but I do travel pretty much like two weeks on one week off sometimes I won't even take that week off of traveling but I'll do like two overnights and not all sales jobs that consist of overnights but um, mine does and I actually really like it um, it's not it's not bad it's almost like a little vacation and I mean when you're in a hotel room you can't do laundry you can't cook so you're kind of forced to like have a glass of wine and order DoorDash and you can expense it so it's kind of awesome so um I just got gas I'm gonna hit the road but I'll take you guys along and kind of just show you the gist of my day my day is a lot of um it's a lot of windshield time today so I'm gonna be driving a lot so let's go ahead and get this video started if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel new videos every Monday and follow me on Instagram at Madeline A. Woods my first love is fashion so let's get into it. Usually I'll grab lunch on the road, but I'm actually proud of myself. Um, I packed myself a wrap today, um, or actually two wraps as one is my snack as well. I really like these, they're like the low carb tortillas, spinach, whatever, and then an apple. So that is my lunch. But I will say that's probably one of the parts of medical sales that's a little tough is eating and like, you know, it's really fun to eat out and everything. But um, what is that on my seat? Ew. It's really fun to eat out, you know, but sometimes you just want to eat at home. So I try and some and, and be healthy and, you know, not gain a bunch of weight. So sometimes I'll, I'll make it a big priority to pack and eat healthy on the road. I use this amazing app called Route For Me and it routes out all of my... Um, different locations of where I'm going and so you can put in all the addresses of the places that you need to hit that day and then it'll route you in the specific order to you know not go in one direction and then have to go back the other so I highly recommend if you're in sales video right now and I realized I never addressed how I got into medical sales so my experience there's not just one way to do it but the way I did it was I started off with my first job out of college and it doesn't have to be your first job but typically and the companies I've interviewed for medical sales, they like for you to have some sort of business to business sales experience. So I sold payroll as my first job. So that can be anything like um, wine sales, printer sales, roofing sales, anything like that. Um, I've seen a bunch of different people in different ways get into medical sales, but I know one common theme that I have seen is that they like to see some sales training backgrounds. So they don't have to fully train you on not only the product you're selling that's complicated typically and also train you in sales if that makes sense so that'd be my advice for that and i've also gotten the question do you have to have a certain degree and the general answer is no um but it depends on the job so i know there are some jobs that i've tried to apply for before that required like a biology degree or something like that and i have a communications degree for reference so nothing scientific all taught in my job um but yeah that'll that's i hope that answers your question leave me any questions down below that you have and i'll try and get back to you <sighs> just got out of my car i'm still um, i'm almost in san antonio but i'm in san marcos right now i just want to show my outfit really quick it's freaking it's december it's 81 degrees outside but anyways I kind of dressed appropriately. I have this like sweater thing from Zara that I really like. Just these plain black pants. And then I have these boots from Zara that I love. But anyways, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. And then I'm gonna shut my drive and then finally start hitting my, some of my offices. Okay, I just got my Starbucks drink. I'm almost to San Antonio, like I said. Um, you guys wanted you guys wanted a realistic day in the life of sales. This is it. It's a lot of time in the car, but um, in a good way. You know, I don't know. I, I like it. So, but right now, I uh, the people at Starbucks they they look at me weird if they've never seen somebody do this before. But I ask for two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup, and um, then I pour this uh, Premier Protein shake over it. It has um, 30 grams of protein and. Um, I've seen it on TikTok. It's not like the most like technically healthy thing, 
but it's only six, uh, 160 calories and it's a lot of protein and it gives you caffeine and like fills you up. So we love that. Oh, I should have gotten a straw. It's okay. And then put the lid back on. Shake her up a little bit. There you go. Just pulled up to my first office. So I'm gonna grab my bag out of the car. It has my, some I'm gonna put some samples in there to take in and um, to grab my mask too. Okay. All right, and now that I have my bag loaded up and I'm ready to go into this hospital, I'm gonna go try and sell my product and find the right person to talk to to try and get my product in this hospital. Okay, I just walked out. And just to give you guys a summary of how that went, some sales calls go really well and you're able to speak to the contact that can make the decisions, but sometimes you walk in and that person's not there. And so you just need to find out more information. And honestly, sales is, I sound like all of my past managers, but it's all about timing and consistency. So as long as you're consistent, you're eventually gonna show up at the right time and find the right person. Um, and then, yeah, and then obviously knowing what you're selling and being knowledgeable and reliable, blah, blah, blah. But that's for any of my people out there who are actually, who are interested in this career. And I don't know who of you are gonna watch this, but anyways, just to keep it real. But now I'm off to the next place. So I'm finally in San Antonio. And then we'll be here tomorrow too, and I'll be basically doing the same thing. Hello, it's me on my phone this time. So I also wanted to mention that there are a couple components that I haven't talked about in this video. Um, I know I didn't get very specific into these sales calls that I was doing because I want to protect and not divulge which company I work for just to keep myself safe. I'm sure you guys understand that. But I did want to say that it's another thing that's really important is pre-call planning before you go into these accounts. So say you need to go in and you're going to try and find the correct person to talk to. You need to make sure that you know exactly what you're going to talk about. So you don't just want to walk in and say, hey, like I'm looking for Janet and then be like, hey, Janet, what's up? And she's like, why are you here? You want to know like, okay, I need to talk to this person. I want to follow up and see how their samples are going. And, and if it's your first time going in there, like same situation. So you want to make sure that you're walking in and knowing, hey, I'm gonna introduce myself to the receptionist, see if she can point me to the right contact, and then go from there and ask just the best way to go about sampling them to try and get your product into the facility or hospital or whatever you're selling. So the another, another thing that's really important about sales is being really organized. So sales is a lot about personality, but if you're organized, you'll be a killer. So I personally, the way I do it is I have a note on my phone that are like a folder on the notes app in my phone where I keep um, the names of all different, of all of my accounts. So whenever I'm sitting in my car and I'm about to walk into an account, I'll pull up that account and be like, okay, last time I was in here, I talked to Phil about this. And so now I need to follow up and ask him about X, Y, Z. So that way you kind of seem knowledgeable, like you're on it. And you also make them seem really, like you make them seem really important to you that you remember all these little details about them. I almost forgot to record, but I'm in this amazing sushi restaurant in San Antonio called Unico. If you guys live here or come visit San Antonio, you have to come here. I just ate one piece, but I got two pieces of Negroni, I think it's called, right? And then I just, I got a tuna sour to myself because why not? Hey guys, I just got to the hotel and I thought I'd give you guys a little room tour because they're always fun. So I'm staying at the Marriott San Antonio. It's really nice, I've never been here before and it's always kind of hit or miss if you're gonna get like an updated room, you know, or you just never know. After I've been staying at so many hotels, sometimes they look really good online and they're not as good in person, but this one looks really nice. So bathroom, shower, this thing's kind of cool. Like Hang clothes if you needed to. And I'm only here for a night, so I don't really need anything to hang. And then the bed looks really good. Those pillows look really nice. Then a little couch, and it's always a huge plus when the TV has the like thing where you can play Netflix or Showtime, any of that stuff. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. 
thought I'd show you guys my luggage as well. I'll show you my closet, like what I put my makeup and my cosmetic stuff in a little bit, but this is what I use for overnight trips. It's from Bays. I highly, highly recommend. They have pockets on the side. I don't want that open right now. And whenever it opens, it opens into like a square so that you can really like get in there and see everything. And it's really, really nice. And then on the bottom part, where you see it unzips down here, you can put your shoes in there. So, and that just keeps it separate because you know your shoes just get dirtier. So, love that, I will link this below. Just got back from the gym. I'm gonna take a shower now and then do my skincare. And then honestly, start winding down. I'm really excited, I brought my book to read. I'm gonna read, um, I've been reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I really like it so far. I'm just, I'm trying really hard to get into reading and I really do like it but it's just that process of breaking my social media addiction, but I brought it with the full intention of reading pages tonight, so that's what we're gonna do. But um, yeah, I just got out my cosmetic case, and I know I showed it in like some pack with me videos and stuff, but I just thought I'd highlight it again. It's from Amazon, it folds up really nice. It's pretty cute for what it is, and it just fits all of my stuff and closes with ease, so yeah, I will have it linked below. It has like perfect Amazon reviews. I'm obsessed with it. It just hangs on a hook up there and is perfect for traveling. And then while I'm at it, while my shower is heating up, I thought I might as well show you guys my makeup bag. So it's essentially the exact like, the same thing as my duffel bag because it, it opens up like a square just like my bag does. Um, but yeah, it's also awesome because you can see everything in it closes up really easily and then also has this like bottom part just like the bag where I can keep my makeup brushes and stuff down there so it just makes it a little bit easier to find stuff but still consolidates it really well. I just got in bed and no joke this is probably one of the top three most comfortable hotel beds I've stayed in. You know what? No screw it. Honestly this might be number one. This I got in these sheets and I was on the phone with Ryan and I was like holy shit Pardon my French. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. You guys would be so proud of me. I have my water bottle, my book ready to go, and my charger already plugged in. So we are ready to go, set up for success for tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below with any questions you guys have about medical sales. I kinda just did what I think people would be interested in, so let me know. If you, and if you want me to make more of these videos, I definitely can. Um, but yeah, follow me on Instagram subscribe, all the things. I will talk to you guys next time.